This is the year that I'm becoming a millionaire. I was on my gratitude walk today and I realized that I'm becoming a millionaire this year and it automatically made me think back to the last three years where it was possible for me to become a millionaire. In 2020, when I was hanging out with my amazing and supportive friends, doing virtual keynote addresses, spending time with my human being, reading books, decorating my studio apartment, I probably could have become a millionaire then and even in 2021 when I moved into my new home and I started decorating and making a home there I probably could have become a millionaire then too but I think the thing that I realized while I was walking this morning is that that wasn't the right time for me to become a millionaire because I still had so much grieving and growing and learning to do and while I was grieving the loss of love the loss of friendships the loss of community the loss of family dynamics I needed space to be able to do that before I became a millionaire so that that way when I got back up to rebuild, I was putting things in my foundation that I want to be there for a lifetime. Yes, things like relationships and um, things like furnishings and things like that, but more so than that, things like my actual values and who I am. And my top three values are happiness, generosity, and integrity. And what I realized when I was walking this morning is that if I would have become a millionaire in 2020 or 2021 or 2022, while it would have been nice, it wouldn't have been good because I wouldn't have been a happy millionaire. I wouldn't have been a millionaire who knew who she was. I wouldn't have been a millionaire who knew what she was capable of doing. I wouldn't have been a millionaire who felt joy and peace and ease and comfort in her relationships. I wouldn't have been a millionaire who understood my purpose in the work that I've come to do. I wouldn't have been a millionaire who was happy. And what I know for sure is that 